now let's talk about some properties of nuclear nucleotides uh, in this case uh, so nucleotides are quite strong acids i repeat they are quite strong acids why they are acidic because in nucleo nucleotide uh, structure if we uh, see we have sugar we have base attached to the five carbon uh, first carbon of the sugar and we have phosphate attached to the five carbon so sugar is not acidic base is not as acidic in nature <laughs> at all but base is basic but what makes them acidic is only this phosphate which is derived from phosphoric acid which is h3po4 which is phosphoric acid so this phosphoric acid is uh, uh, the mm, driving force to make this nucleotide acid in nature and if we see if we look at the structure of this uh, nucleotides then you can if we titrate them we can find the titration value the pk value of, of nearly similar to the acidic or approximately pk value of 1 which denotes the presence of highly acidic substances so it's not only an acid it's, it's a highly acidic substances okay so if you look at the ionization steps in the first place uh, hydrogen from this hydroxyl leaves as a result of that th this is gives us a pk of near about 1 which is 0.9 in case of amp 0.7 in case of gmp point Uh, uh, 8 in case of CMP and 1 for UMP. You can see almost approximately 1. That means it's a very very highly acidic. And in second ionization step, uh, what we can see is secondary ionization. Uh, it it leaves off another hydroxyl from this uh, another hydrogen from this hydroxyl. And as a result of this, this is acidic. In this case, what we found we found approximation of a 4 uh, pH of 4 and 5 pK value of 4 and 5. so we can say this nucleic acid is acidic in nature so this is the acidic nature of nucleic acid which is really really important so we have studied the phosphates if you study the phosphate which which is making it acidic because large amount of dna is made up with phosphate repeat sequences because the whole backbone is made up with phosphate and sugar repeats now let's talk about the physical properties of nucleosides and nucleotides at all biological relevant ph this nucleo bases always remains in neutral species so they are neither acidic ni nor basic but the nucleotides with the di and triphosphate present there always tends to be acidic in nature why because we have a sugar again the structure uh, helps us to determine it we have the base and we have the phosphate if we have only one phosphate and the phosphate uh, suppose is filled with uh, its deionized state that means this state so if the phosphate is like that or it's a monophosphate of nucleotide then we can say that uh, in this case base is slightly giving the basic nature this is giving the acidic nature so this will cancel each other out and finally the species uh, will uh, stay at a neutral uh, neutral level of uh, ph but when we add more phosphates instead of this one phosphate we, uh, suppose we de uh, deionization of these things happens so this is o negative and we have more and more phosphate attached to it Uh, for di, let's make it diphosphate, or let's make it uh, a triphosphate. If we are making it more phosphate uh, attachments, then we finally end up with much more acidic in nature than the base. Okay, so that's why they tends to ha have acidic in nature because most of the time, what they f what we found is more and more phosphate groups are present there because the backbone is made up with phosphates by by the repeating units. Okay. and all the bases are not the same because the bases varies all the time that's why it gives a slightly negative charge in uh, uh, the physiological ph okay slightly uh, okay now the n glycosidic bond of nucleosides and nucleotides are stable under phy physiological conditions but under acidic conditions so what are the n glycosidic bonds again i am telling you the glycosidic linkage means the linkage between the sugar and the base so this is the n glycosidic bond which are stable under for physiological conditions but under acidic conditions they are considerably more labile so that's another very important consideration so if we make it much more acidic then uh, they can be fragile with the acid they can be degraded with the acid we call it the acid hydrolysis of nucleotides the one thing i forget to mention in uh, the previous slides that the the bond between sulf uh, sugar and uh, base we call it the gl in glycosidic linkage or glycosidic linkage established with the in uh, nitrogen uh, terminal and in portion of from the base and uh, and in case of uh, the the bond between the phosphate Uh, and the sugar is called the phosphodiester linkage okay so these are the two linkages name you must